Our next guests are the Emmy-nominated creators, writers, and stars of the critically acclaimed series Pen15. The show's final episodes are streaming on Hulu. Let's take a look. Oh, no. This is why I got braces. Are you kidding me? I mean, honestly, I like you better that way. With a snaggle? I'm gonna have to get my braces back on. You still there? Hi, yeah. Turn on the radio to Hot 106.7. What? Okay, um, Anna. Anna, he just said put the radio on. Put it on, on 106.7. Did he get you concert tickets? I don't know. Please welcome back to the show our friends Anna Conkle and Maya Erskine. Um, congratulations on the show, and I also want to say congratulations on the fact that you both had babies in this past year. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I would imagine Marty insanely jealous of the fact that you're best friends who co-created a show together. It must have been really nice to have kids uh, within two months of each other. Was that a fun time? I mean, I know it's not necessarily a fun time, but <laughs> not, was it made it was more fun? fun. Up it, all night, and yeah. <laughs> Haven't slept depressed. for eight oh months, God. but yeah, it's it's been great. It's been so yeah. helpful to have each other go through it because it's so hard. It was weird learning about lactating yep. in general uh -huh. and at home during COVID because I didn't have to deal with going out and learning about like pads and the right. bras. I'm sure you really want to talk about this. Well, but no, I mean, I think uh, having gone through it, uh, yes. uh, yeah. the body does not know that you are out in public. It does no. not. Yeah. I have learned. And actually we, I think I told, we were out to dinner and it was one of the first dinners out. I was feeling like a human being with our daughter and my mm -hmm. partner. And I'm feeling good about myself and we're leaving and Aaron Paul is there. And he starts talking to us about our daughter, and he was really, really sweet. I'm like, yeah, we're having a great time here. And we leave, and I realize that my white shirt <laughs> has fully <laughs> wet spot, and my nipple is just there. <laughs> Humiliating. Humiliating. Well, I'm wondering why Aaron Paul was trying so hard to extend the conversation. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I'm sorry, Aaron Paul. I'm sorry. Um, so uh, the brilliant conceit of this show is that you, as adults, have been playing yourselves as 13-year-olds. Now that you have children, have you thought about the fact that this might be a document to one day show them? I really don't think my son's going to want to watch this, especially because there are episodes of me doing things like... Masturbating. Masturbating. Yeah. Thank you, Anna. And um, I don't know if I can say... I don't want to give away, but there are other bases that I get to pass kissing. Yeah. I don't want him to see that, but I, I think it could be a good conversation starter, maybe, yeah. you know? I do think it's interesting, because I think it's like, it would be totally fine for like a mom to explain to her son about masturbating, but probably right. best not to like, let me show you. Let me show you how I did it. <laughs> let me show you how At I did it. At your age. Yeah, and don't worry, a yeah. lot of people have seen your mom doing this. Yeah. Don't worry. Yeah. This was on TV. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, God. You, uh, you guys always borrow uh, from your regular life uh, and your experience and your history and things you remember about being that really awkward age. Um, I always am, am desperate to know what from the show uh, in recent seasons uh, is true to your life. I mean, I would say like 80% yeah. is probably true. Um, there's something this season where Maya gets like yellow tinted glasses. Yeah, we have a photo oh, of yeah. The, of the yellow tinted glasses. <laughs> um, Very which hot. look really cool, but actually. <laughs> So I cool. I was um, diagnosed with what's called Erlen syndrome. I don't know if any of you have it here, um, but it basically first I was told that I have ADD, so they you know the doctor gave me a prescription for Ritalin, and then he he was like you get extended time on on testing for SATs, and I was like great, I definitely have ADD, <laughs> and then he was like how do you feel about fluorescent lights, and I was like. I I don't feel good about I don't like them. They don't feel good. Why? Why? And he was like, because these glasses, like these glasses will help you focus better and you can be, you know, you can learn better. And um, I wasn't that convinced because they were those. And basically, <laughs> he showed me a picture of Haley Joel Osment on the red carpet wearing like yellow tinted glasses. And he was like, he has Erlen syndrome. And so you should wear them. So I did. That Fast forward, you. that convinced yeah. me. We're friends now, and you inhale. Like, yeah. yeah, he was like, yeah. I never had Erlen syndrome. That was just <laughs> me on the red carpet. <laughs> That was fashion. Yeah, that was fashion, yeah. I like that you thought like that diagnosis was exciting to you because, it was, yeah. but you were, 
excited about getting braces. I, yeah, I really In real life. Braces. Yes, in fifth grade, fourth grade actually, I knew I was gonna have to get braces because my ideas were crazy. Yeah. And then, and, and so yeah, my orthodontist said, okay, we could do it now. And I had them for two years, I got them off. And then one tooth just went rogue. Uh -huh. <laughs> and and I also had that appliance thing that like expanded the top of your. How is that legal? Yeah. Yeah. That hurt. Yeah. Um, and so yeah. So then I got the braces off and the tooth came off. I mean out <laughs> basically off. <laughs> and wearing the retainer didn't work. And so eventually my actually my orthodontist died. Uh -huh. I went. I know. Yeah. <laughs> but again, <laughs> he wasn't maybe great at his job. <laughs> saying rest in, I'm crying. Rest yeah. in peace. I'm crying. Yeah. Um, no. And then my the new orthodontist was like, you messed up. And, <laughs> and then said you need braces for another two years. Really? So you've yeah. got them back so. on. I mean, I had braces for maybe five years start to finish. Wow. But at least I never had that moment where they came off and I thought I was out of the woods. Right. That's, that's the that's, that's really out. hard. That's dark. But, Years is the yeah, mine were time. mine were rough. I think we just forgot to go back. Right. <laughs> I think one day, like we just got super used to them, and then one right. day my dad was like, "Hold on, um, <laughs> you're about to go to college." Hey, right. uh, you guys write a lot about your relationships uh, with your uh, mother. Yeah. Uh, your mother's this season. Um, your mother play. Your actual mother plays your mother. She does. A immediate star. Yeah. Is she aware? She She's, a, oh, she's aware, yeah. yeah. She's, yeah, she's taking interviews. She's doing, you know, yeah. she's getting auditions. other auditions. She's using my agents. I think they're hers now. I'm not yeah. sure, but yeah, she's great. <laughs> what would she be like if she had joined us uh, on the couch uh, today? Oh, yeah, she, you oh, always she should always want that. I know. That should, that would be she great. would roast me. She would definitely burn me if she was sitting right next to yeah. me. Um, I don't think it would be Like very, soft, would like really? soft burns? Like, it's, the thing is, she's Japanese, so it's just very much part of that culture to like downplay everything. Like, mm. don't look at my daughter, please. Like she yeah. has short legs, like don't look at it. You know, like it's very, <laughs> that has happened. Um, but I love your legs. But she, but she says it's like a false modesty because she actually feels very proud about her daughter, but she doesn't want to like seem say that out loud to everyone. She doesn't want it to seem too perfect. I like that your mom uh, and you, I guess, to some degree almost fell for or did fall for like a scam modeling agency. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Cause we, we lived outside of Boston in a little suburb. And so the dream was you go into the city and you're gonna be discovered. Yeah. And I thought that happened in Boston. Someone stopped me, I'm 5'8", so I think that was the only reason and in retrospect. And they were like, are you a model? <laughs> Clearly not a model. <laughs> and and I was like, no, but I could be. They were like, what you look do? like, we don't say this all the time, you look like you've had braces twice. <laughs> <laughs> That's how good your teeth are. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, and she, ha sh this woman gave me a card and I went to a hotel room with my mom. Okay. Maybe a month later. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yes. that's, in this day and age, big, that's a huge, that's a big, yeah. yeah, 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 um, no. And um, yeah, they were like, it's gonna be $7,000 for you to model. We have to get pictures. And and my mom was sold. And I was, I actually ended up being like, I don't, that doesn't feel right. <laughs> Your mom was sold. Yeah, she was like, we have to do this. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm getting, you know, consignment clothes. And, but for some reason she was like, let's just spend it. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> just do it. You know, it's really sweet actually. Um, it, you guys, uh, I think people, it's safe to say a lot of people are really heartbroken that you're closing this thing up after three chapters, but that was always your plan. Mm -hmm. um, are you satisfied uh, with how it's all ending? Well, yeah, I feel yeah. really good about it. I, I I feel happy where we left Maya and Anna's characters, yeah. but it is sad, you it's know? Bittersweet. It's bittersweet. Yeah. yeah. Well, congratulations. Thank it's such you. a beautiful, a deeply funny show, and is so unique, as unique as anything on TV. So thank, thank you for you. three thank incredible you. chapters. You guys, you. Anna Conkle, Maya Erskine, the final episode of 1015, the streaming on Hulu.